Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. I'm your host, Ultimate Mar. Uh, it's been about half an hour since I did the last video. I went and made me uh, an egg sandwich, get a couple pieces of bread, a little bit of mayonnaise on it, cook two eggs, put a little bit of salt, and a little bit of chili powder. So good. Uh, I actually like it better when I toast the bread just a little bit, just get it a little bit toasted, and then put the eggs on it, put the mayonnaise, toast the bread, just, just make it a little bit toasted. I don't like it burnt, you know? And then put the eggs on it. Ooh, it's so good. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, I think we're going to go say Tifa. Ah. Uh, stamp? On a camel. Okay. <coughs> now we're going to uh, Wall Market to save Tifa from Don Cornello. Which, in the original, it didn't take too long to go through this. This is going to take freaking forever. I swear, it takes way too long. But it's also fun. Let's talk, see what happens. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Mm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape, yes. She's a great fighter, that's true. She's great at handling the books. Now that, I don't know. Um... I've only seen her run a bar and fight, so I don't really know anything about her handling account work, so let's say she's a great fighter. Um, she's a great fighter. I'm not sure that helps. Wait a minute, you talking about Tifa? Now, how in the hell did you get Tifa from she's a great fighter? There's a lot of amazing female fighters in this world, so there's no way you could get that Tifa from whatever. That's her. Oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. And that's It'll definitely true. your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. <laughs> and considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Yeah, absolutely. Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. He's not a people person, this cloud. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Now, I'm kind of blanking on what I was talking about earlier. Um, <coughs> you know, here's another little good recipe in case any of you are wondering. Um, I make a mean ramen. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Yeah, so in case if you guys want to make a mean ramen. Step right up, step right up.
Yeah, that seems poorly designed. Maybe it's broken? Clearly. Welcome to the world. Huh? What's that? Oh. You're not working, you say? Huh. Maybe there's something wrong with the wiring. Step right up. Step right up. Uh, yeah, no, not only is it not working, it's trying to kill you. You two. Yes, you. Do you have a place to stay this enchanted evening? We have the perfect room for a sweet looking couple like you. <laughs> How much? How much? Cloud. What? We need a room to stay. <laughs> Just give me a holler when you change your mind. So where are the shady? Alright, so here's the deal. Get some uh Get two green onions, chop up into small pieces. Get some You know, I've heard from more than a few people that my son Johnny has been roaming the streets of Walmart. Before he leaves town, I need to make sure I deliver him his lucky pillow. I have faith in my boy, of course. But a growing man needs plenty of sleep. Sleep of good quality, no less. That's how mind and body stay healthy and active. In other words, this pillow is crucial to his health. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome. Are you? No, thank you. Get two pieces of hot dog or sausage. Chop them up real small. Warm that up for about a minute. Um, what else? Get the green onions in a separate little place. Separate little plate. Warm up the sausage. Uh, get the water boiling. And then put in about crack two or three eggs and put them in there. And let them cook for about a minute to make them poached. Then get uh, the green onions and sausage and put that in there after about a minute and then stir it up and make sure that the eggs don't break I mean even if they break they're still good and once you're sure you got this all cooking then you add in the ramen and stir it and while the ramen is cooking add some chili powder and some cinnamon to it that way, the chili powder and cinnamon cook you, into the ramen, the sausage, uh, the green onions, and the eggs. That way, you get it a good soak in there. After three minutes of getting that cooked, drain out the juice, put in the spice, whatever flavoring you have, <coughs> and. Uh, but some cheese and there you go. You got my homemade specialty ramen. I kind of want to go make me some now, but I don't have any hot dogs right now. No, I do have hot dogs. Nah, I just had an egg. I'm good. Can I buy a music from here? No? Huh. I believe in the last episode I was talking about uh, Trigun, an anime that I would like to see remade and with today's graphics, and Trigun really is the top, and then we're running Kenshin. But if you were going to go and do a remake of Trigun... Hey there, we're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Items, honeybee and song. Let me see, can I sell stuff? Do I have anything to sell? No! Thanks. <coughs> but I would love to see Trigun remade with today's graphics. But really, for the love of God, go and do some explanation on uh, Vash's past. I mean, you get snippets here and there of his past and what he's done and everything and where he's from, but you don't really learn anything. Hey, you think that guy's doing okay? He wasn't looking so hot, you know. You don't really learn Maybe anything about him or what he is. But this street, isn't it? The one that everyone says is bad news? 
Shit, you're right. I don't want to go down there now. I'll go down and check it out, you pussy. Anyways. But, yeah, I would really like to learn more about him as a character and not have to go do some freaking research. Oh. Hey, bro, this ain't no place to hang out. Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. Hey, you idiot, do you not see the giant sword on my back? Huh? <laughs> what happened with you know what? It's all taken care of. Move, move. Aren't you a curious kid? You've got balls, so I'll give you a pass. Again, giant sword. <laughs> you die. Huh? One swing. You idiots. What makes them think Cloud won't just cut them down with that big ass sword? I mean, seriously. Uh, what's over here? Ah, materia shop guy. See the sign out front? All I got is material. Fine, whatever. Let me just see. Okay, Thanks, nothing. Buddy. But I would really like to learn more about him as a character and his brother and why his brother's so freaking insane. Alright, nothing here. I feel rejuvenated. But I would also like to see uh, Rurouni Kenshin. That was a good one. Uh, that's a good anime. If you get a chance to watch that or the other or Trigun, I highly recommend taking the time to watch them. If you're an anime, <coughs> if you're an anime person, those are required watching for any anime person, in my opinion. I could be totally wrong, but I think those are fantastic anime. And I love how both the main characters are. Hold it. Best to steer clear of this alley. You may not like the people you find down here. And they may not. I like how both the main characters have dark pasts, but are very kind, caring, considerate people. And like, you would never know that either Vash Stampede or Kitchen Himura for running Kitchen were badasses. You would think that they were just goofy, happy-go-lucky people, which they are. And I think that's the personalities they want. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance will be much appreciated. Uh. No, I don't want to waste the money on this. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance and gather Cloud. I've registered a new summons battle intel request. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Okay. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Yes, uh, what's the new materia? Ooh. That's nice. Let me see. VR missions. Ooh, fat chocobo. You know, I don't want to deal with this today. I'll come back and deal with fat chocobo. And, in all honesty, the fat chocobo really isn't that useful. Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular? Please, feel free to look around. I remember this character from the original game. Let's see, there's a weapon shop over here, I think. No. Ah, here it is. Get, get a new sword for Cloud. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Yeah. Hard edge. Do come again. Yeah, I don't think I will. I don't really need to. Alright, I'm going to pause it real quick while I do upgrades on Cloud's weapon. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, I'm back. I just switched Cloud's weapon to whatever this thing is called, Hard Edge? Yeah. 
I think that's what this weapon was called. Um, yeah. Whenever I first played this, I always f missed this weapon shop right here. Um, and then I had to go through the whole Rigimaru over here for a little while. Check it out. Uh, I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Yeah. This... This is just overcompensation. Man, this guy is overcompensating for whatever. Uh, the guy in the middle, I have a lot of respect for. You'll see later on. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? <laughs> kinda cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. Denied. <laughs> Let me do the killing. If you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. We met. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, My favorite. there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. I don't know how They're I feel about They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Alright, go meet Chocobo Sam. He's the only one you can actually talk to, so... Don't bother trying to meet Andrea Rhodes or uh, the other the lady. They just said I, I totally blanked on her name. So just go back to Chocobo Sam. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But... To earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio, right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. How the fuck Stay did you strong, even get that Tifa. information? Help is on the way. Johnny's coming, baby. <laughs> Not Earth's the like... sharpest tool in the shed, is he? No. Nope. I don't think he's even in the shed. <laughs> Church chest over here. Huh. That's new. Ooh, 12,000 kill. That's gonna be useful. But. <coughs> yeah, if you get a chance, uh, check out Ruroni Kitchen yeah. and Trigun. My problem with Ruroni Kitchen is that after episode 50, when you defeat. when they defeat the main bad guy, they just go off on another 25 episodes of just filler. So, can we cut those out and be done with it? I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Yeah, yeah. Let me just go kill the fat chocobo. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator. That's cool technology, honestly. This one is better than the most useless of them all. If you ask me. Alright, what is it? Allow me. The hell was that? Oh, something fell on my roof. Yeah, this chocobo is without a doubt the most useless chocobo. Why don't you lead 
the Let's way. Do this. So Infinity's End is Hard Edge's uh, special ability. It takes two uh, HP gauges to actually uh, hurt to use it. Uh -oh. Here we go. That's it. What is it weak against? It's not weak against anything. Hooray! This one's for you. Damn it! I think the only use this Chuckle has is that he's a big old tanky boy. Oh no! So it's my turn. You've got this. Hang back. Anyone who's a Final Fantasy fan knows not to fuck with these damn things. It's on you. I'm coming. Don't get close to them. <coughs> I I don't recommend getting close to them, like at all. Okay. They suck. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, those little turtle things. I think they're called Tauntaun? No, that's Star Wars. But they once shot you. Man, I hate them so much. It's one so last finished. shot! Ready or not, here I come! Go on! Go on. <laughs> come on, team! Leave it to me. Come on. And um, this one's for you. Hope you're ready. Darn. Uh oh. Saw that one coming. Get him. Go on. I think I can summon Shiva now. Yeah. I just imagine they're help. doing this and they get rolled over by that chuckle. <laughs> wow, she was awesome. No! Man, for a fat guy, he moves One more quick. Shot. Let's see. I split it back. Yes, I can use the limit break. Perfect. Let's finish this. Yeah. No. Truly amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. You know, Cloud, why don't you ask to why he hates Shinra so much? I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Because that seems like a good question to ask. Let's see. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, let me go down here so I can just show you the Honeybee Inn. Real quick. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. This place? I just wanted to see Andrea. Think so. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? 
No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Yeah, all right, yeah, you make a good point. I am but a bee. Whoa. <laughs> I don't get the fascination with bees, but these women pull it off. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market. The Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? <laughs> uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Who three went three years? years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Yeah, makes sense. All right. She looks like a vampire bee. I can't be the only one who thinks that she's a vampire. That's a dress I can be. Can I? But before I end this video, I just wanted to show you guys a little something hidden back over here. I think I can get another soundtrack. No. <gasps> There's a teacher what? from the slums. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey, what the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? <sighs> well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. You're in a bee outfit. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? Yeah, that's no problem, but you're in a I've bee outfit. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Why? I get it, honey bee in, but there's got to be other places where you can go to dance. Wait, 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 though. no, go lifetime back. Bands a lifetime band. I think I saw something right here. Nope. Really clean enough tonight. I don't understand Rod Andrea Rodea's obsession with freaking bees. Uh, but whatever. I right, I think this is gonna be the last of today's uh episodes. So come back tomorrow for another episode. I hope you guys liked this. Like me talking about old anime, hoping for new remakes, but. Uh, if you do, please hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and crush that bell. Thanks, guys.